So it's right in the heart of London and it's the theatre district. So it's where the bars, the restaurants, the theatres are. And it's some of our theatres are 300, 400 years old, have been on those sites for all of that time. Theatre Royal Drury Lane, you can read people's accounts from the early 1700s of appearing on stage there. And the West End represents our, our big shows. You know, the smallest West End theatre, I think, is 450 seats. The largest is about 2,500. They play everything from plays all the way through to Lion King, Wicked, the great big musicals. But what's lovely is it's a very small, you know, it's probably three square miles in the centre, right in this heart of, this, of, of the city. So it has a sense, right next to Covent Garden, it has a sense of kind of the bustling entertainment district, which is really special. And I think there's also massive variety on offer. There's dance shows, there's musicals, there's very serious plays, there's new plays, there's old plays, there's Hollywood stars, there's breakthrough actors, everybody all occupying the same, the same space, which is really exciting. Hello, my name is Shireen Jasmine Phillips, and I'm the director of Taking Part at Young Vic, and today we're talking about Love Rain. <laughs> So Love Rain is super fun, um, it's obviously directed by someone who is really means a lot to me, my Aquarian sister as we say in the play, um, Steph O'Driscoll who I've known for 11 years um, and it's a funny story, I, I was going to work with her about 10 years ago on a, another project and I ended up, um, the dates couldn't work for the show to be on and I had the decision to either go ahead with the show without her or just say I'm not going to do the run anymore and I decided to not do the run at all and stick with her as her friend. Because um, I was like, actually, she would be the best person for it. And if it can't be done, it can't be done. And so it's really uh, a nice kind of circle round that these many years later that, you know, what's meant to be is meant to be. And we've aligned on this project together because it's uh, first I wasn't going to be the writer on it and it's evolved into something. And I thought that what was really nice, especially post pandemic, is we now know what means something to us. We now know who means something to us. And I definitely feel like we put so much emphasis on love relationships. And I really wanted to put emphasis on friendship relationships because I feel like that's what's really pulled us through um, in this time. Like, I love my friends. Like, I love them so deep. And I feel like if I was to break up with them, that would, that heartbreak is something that's deeper than I have with any man, to be honest with you. And, <laughs> and so I wanted to uh, capture that in something that held such joy and celebration of that and then resolution of that and add music to it. And we kind of went through the theme of Soulful House and we done a lot of kind of listening to Kei Chinada when we were making it and stuff like that and um, other musicians. And we just feel like we wanted to make sure that everything felt like a collaborative feel from the outset, so everyone who's kind of part of it is feeling that bonding and that joy and that friendship in the room. Bands are incredible because they naturally seem to have a more kind of collaborative way of working. Um, they're used to kind of like jamming and people like leading something to in one musical direction and, and collaborating. So as soon as I started to work with music, I understood that, oh wow, like what it feels like to actually truly collaborate rather than there be a director who has the sole vision and everyone serves that vision. So I find it far more exciting and I think there's more investment from everyone involved if you, if you collaborate and you're all building um, towards the same outcome. So rehearsals for, for us have been um, really, yeah, quite collaborative in the sense that we all, when we're trying to figure out something, we'll all go, oh, could it be this? Could it be this? How about this happens? And, and that's quite refreshing, actually. It also means that I don't have to have all of the answers. And the honest truth is, as a director, I don't have all the answers. I have, I have somewhere I like to lead the team. I see it as like steering a ship. Um, but I don't often 
um, fully have all the answers. And so if you get the right team around you, like I do, I have an incredible team that we're working with. Um, we've got all of those brains that are trying to like figure out how, how we actually do this. So that's really exciting. Feel free to dance, don't be shy. This is theatre you can buy to. a fun, high energy story about love. Um, not love in the way that we normally expect stories are told. It's celebrating friendship, which I think is really special because it doesn't get celebrated enough. As long as... Whatever happens, Tony will not be invited. Good. I don't know about another holiday though. I think I'm just going to stay in London for a minute. Let's have a party. Mm. A big blowout. This is actually the first time I'm doing a theatre show. So as a composer, this is like exciting for me because it's a new way of writing music and um, putting it together with the stories. Yeah, it's really interesting. And I, I feel like me and Steph have worked really well together and we're often thinking the same thing. Um, so yeah, it's just been fun. Yeah. Wherever the music rang was my terrain. As soon as the beat would drop, my feet would stop and I would be off. There was something so spiritual about those melody tones, the electronic dance beat. It was a perpetual summer in my bones through the tones. The spirit would just lift me and I'd be... I'd be sitting in the corner looking after the poets. I would describe it as joy, joyful. Like from when I read the script, I was just like, it's so much fun. And it's so rare that you ever see a play like this. Like, you know, like that's one of my lines in the play. Like there are so many books and films about romantic love. You don't find plays or shows or films about friendship. So yeah, it's been such a joy to like be in rehearsals with this kind of material and tour it as well. Happy birthday, beautiful. Thanks, Ty. Mmm, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're looking fine as wine. Thank you. You're not looking too bad yourself. Are you surprised to see me? Well, yeah, were well, you invited? The rain reached out, so I thought I'd pass through. Bless you, my presence. I'm feeling the blessing. Did you bring a gift as well, or is your presence the present? <laughs> you and your word play. How can I describe the play? I would say the play is vibrant, full of good vibes, high energy, um, a story, a love story of two best friends um, who have gone through their lives, kind of finding themselves, um, finding themselves separately and with each other. And sometimes it fits and sometimes it doesn't. Um, and they come back together when they've found pieces of themselves that, that they feel whole in. Um, yeah, yeah. Rain and Rose. Uh, and R. Uh, there was an annual fun for at Burgess Park and I had to beg my mum to take her. It was absolute vibes. Jerk chicken smelling the air. The DJ warming up on the makeshift stage. Teenagers with water guns running around. The little kids playing footy. The screaming from the mums on the halters. The stickiness on my fingers from the candy floss. The aggressive shouts from the man that won the bumper cars. We fell. We fell. So this brief is, is a show that can literally go into a back of a van and, and go anywhere. We can perform this anywhere and that's the brief from the beginning. So the design team from early on are going, how do we make sure that we can do that and we don't have to rely on having loads of lights? Because we're in loads of different spaces. We're in hospitals, we're in schools, we're in community centres. Um, so for us, it's the, the idea from, from the beginning, the vision is we can make something that is adaptable in any space. So our set is fundamentally the band and the main thing for us is making sure that it sounds good wherever we go. Um, 
but yeah this show can literally can go into any space and and myself and the assistant director will whatever space we get into figure out how it can adapt to each space when we're there on on the day the taking part team are like literally at another level actually of like how they care about communities the way they work with with their audiences in Lambeth and Southwark and how they treat the artists that they work with yeah second to none <laughs>